Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood. I'm going to show you how I calculate roof runoff water and size underground drainage systems. I'm going to break it down for you and we're going to go through it together. I think you're going to find it pretty simple and easy to use my format. First, for your own home, you need to look up what your 100 year rainfall is for the duration of 24 hours. And I'm going to show you the table that I'm using for my area. And you're going to find that my 100 year rainfall for a duration of 24 hours totals 5.13 inches. And you'll see it in the table. So if you're in Michigan, and you're in the Detroit area or surrounding area, you can use this. So if you're outside of Michigan, look this up. This is available to everybody. You're gonna need it. And there's probably gonna be a few people that say, oh, 100 years, how often is that gonna happen? Well, I'm here to tell you. I've seen it twice now in my adult lifetime and I fully expect to see it at least one more time while I'm still working doing yard drainage. So however they got this figured, I don't know, but it's supposed to be a 1% chance each year that we could see the 100 year, but I've already seen it twice. So that's in 33 years. So I'm just letting you know, size your systems for this. How to calculate roof runoff water and size your underground drainage system. Now I don't like making things complicated. I'm a simple guy. I'm going to show you the format that I use. I find this to be uh, quite simple for me. I hope it is for you guys. Of course comments will be left open. Let me know if I need to be clear with something. So let's get started. So you start by taking the area of the roof and I'm going to use an example so say I have a rooftop and it's 40 feet by a hundred feet now in order for this to work because they measure rain in the United States in inches so if you're in Canada if you're dealing with the metric system obviously go to your units but you have to have consistency in our case it has to be all done in inches so I have 100 feet and I need to convert that to inches well there's 12 inches in a foot so we're gonna times 100 by 12 and get 1200 we're gonna do the same thing with the 40 feet we're gonna times it by 12 inches and we're gonna get 480 now we're gonna put that 100 year rainfall to use here. Okay, so we got our 1200 times 480 times our 100 year in a 24 hour duration rainfall, 5.13, and that equals 2,954,880 total cubic inches of water. Now, you want to divide by 231 to get the number of gallons because one gallon equals 231 cubic inches. All right, stick with me now. We're almost to the end. We have 2,954,880 cubic inches divided by 231 cubic inches it equals 12,791.69 gallons think about that 12,791.69 gallons if we divide that number by the number of downspouts and in this case we are going to say that this home had seven downspouts now you can see that you have 1827 gallons per downspout 
I know that's not an exact because gutter runs are a little bit different, but it gives you an idea. To my point, if you have poor percolating soil and you have somebody trying to tell you that a dry well will work for a home with this dimension of rooftop in this location, it's not going to work. It never does. And that's usually when we come in after they screwed up your yard, screwed up the money and the allowance for the job. So before I get all worked up about that, I could do this in a leach field, which I'll show you in the future. 12,791 gallons I can handle in one of our leach fields without a problem. Of course, I'd like to send it down some infrastructure like a city storm drain but not everybody has that luxury and we don't always run into that now let's just have some fun with this so that you can wrap your mind around the 12,791 gallons let's look at some examples 7.48 gallons are in a cubic foot 748 gallons are in 100 cubic feet. Now remember, these guys want to build you a dry well that's going to hold all this water. So if we take 12,791.69 divided by the 7.48, it equals 1,710 cubic feet. Think about that. That's how big the dry well would have to be. That is just crazy in my world so these contractors that want to tell you that one size fits all I'm telling you leach fields French drains yard drains one size does not fit all you need to know how to do this okay so let's have a little more fun here so 27 cubic feet is in a cubic yard Take 1,710, divide it by the 27 cubic feet that's in a yard, and you end up with a little more than 63 yards. Now, we've all done some yard work where you order two or three, or maybe as much as five yards of bark mulch and topsoil. Imagine a dry well that you have to dig out 63 yards to handle this roof runoff. It's ridiculous and it's unfortunate. But now you at least know how to calculate your roof runoff water so you can see what kind of water you're dealing with. I hope this helped you guys. I'm getting a lot of questions. I'm going to start doing more of this for you and I'm going to break it down as simply as I can. If you didn't catch this on the first time, go ahead, watch it again, save it. You know, Watch it later when you have time to figure out your roof runoff water and build the system that you need to handle your 100 year in your area. Until next time, let's all work hard to do it right the first time.